Hey, hey guys, DK78 back here with more Anna's Quest. In the last one, we uh, managed to get up to the attic and we have a hair. Oh no, we're gonna get a hair, but we have a blessed charge amulet, a baby dragon, and a mirror. Let's see if we can't, like, uh, figure out something to do. There's also a raven up here, but he is a mean little raven. Uh,. Okay. My options are climb, talk. There's something I could do to this satellite dish. Oh, how pretty. Feels good to be outside under the stars again. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, we have to do something about the satellite dish, maybe. So, uh... What can we do? And it says we're not close enough to use the mirror when I was trying that out, so... Uh... What if I... Can I stick the mirror out onto the roof this way? Is that a thing? Oh. Oh, dear. I guess not. Okay, okay. Jeez. Touchy little fellow. Hmm. This looks a lot like Granny. You mm, did look at this. I think I'll. I don't really know. What... I think that's. Machine parts. I don't really. I think that. We still. We can't no. destroy this, right? Hmm. I. Okay. Just checking. Well, shoot. We have the ability to get Raven's Feather. We also need her hair still. Do we need the blueprints for anything else besides the fact that I found this place using the blueprints? Okay, so a raven's feather, a blessing from the dead, oh, then I need to heat and oh, yeah. then simple. Uh, we also did find, uh, Uringel, and Uringel's like, now I'm gonna go find Urinde. Hmm. Wait, can I talk to him again? Is that a thing? Uringo? Nope, nothing. His spirit's long gone. Yeah, so much for his help. He ditched me, the fool. Uh, and we're down. We have the witch's stuff down here. Uh. Oh! Do you think the baby dragon could, like, lift the drain for me? Try and move this. No? Nope. Well, we know baby dragons can set things on fire, according to one of the so. books here. Uh, the book of dangerous creatures. All right. It hmm, said drag dragons are large lizard-like creatures that live within forest caves. They have scaled skin, wings, razor-sharp teeth and claws, and are capable of breathing fire. Yep. To Oops. All right, dragon. Dragons are large. They have scale. To achieve this, they will consume kerosene or paraffin, which ignites within their hot bellies. So we need to have a consume kerosene. What is? And then communicating with the other side. Communic. All right. Those who pass on to the other side leave this will most often come in an object. One of the that basic summoning techniques is to take such an object with you to sleep. During sleep, the spirit will see. We did have his ring. We could have took that to bed. And then evil pets. Guide? Aha! It is not uncommon to find raven nests. With ravens did who find have settled it. down, however, become extremely territorial and aggressive in nature. This is all the more reason why they make an ideal pet for any evil persons. Alright. Well, we did find him on the roof. Except... Like... Uh... A pie working... Not a take, not a we can't take it because it doesn't have hair. And all we have is a charged amulet. Hmm. Well, we also have to figure out what to do with this pipe. Hmm. There used to be a chimney go I wonder if that pipe actually is like it said it was loose. And it came from this. I think it comes from the sink, I right? This is so far, though. No, 
this thing. All right, tap's working. You know the tap works. What if we put the cork in it? I'll just leave it. No. Oops. Well, it's... Hmm. Baby dragon. Nope. Can't flush it down the sink. Maybe it likes... I'm not sure what... What if... What if we went around and showed it the picture of its master? Hi. Oh dear. Okay, oh gee. Touchy little fellow. He is, isn't he? The mirror didn't do that. We Do I give it up there from the roof? What if I check the mirror this way? Ah! Oh! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Not too happy about. S At least he's just. Yeah, he is distracted now. Oh my gosh, that's. Took me a while of thinking there. Hi! I'm through the roof. Alright. Easy does it, Anna. Just reach up, fuck one out. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry. I think I better get out of here. Yeah, quickly before that raven. I don't think he was very impressed by that. But hey, I got a raven's feather for the spell now. Hmm. Alrighty now. Well, I know we could go to bed with the. Oh, what if I try to go into bed? Because there is that. It's not bedtime. It's a scare. No, 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 no. We want to do I that could because. I be wrong, but I have a feeling every morning. Yeah, we wake up with splinters. We wanna. We want to make sure we get the ghost no. back, right? So, like, we need to sleep. Can we sleep in the chair? Is that a thing? All right, that was nope. Uh, well, now I gotta think. I also gotta see if we could get a hair from the witch. Do you think I could talk to the witch and maybe get her to rip her hair out in front of the door and then, like, I don't know, chuck it under the door? Open the door right now. No, 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 no. Hello again. You open this door right now. Uh, let's make a deal first. Uh, hold on. Let's I say know, it's. I know you said. Open you are team. angry. What? Eat Whoa, me. eat me. Oh, no. Now I'm <laughs> Welcome. That's enough That's talking. Enough, then. Uh <sighs> I don't know if I have to be quick about it, but I think I should save real quick. Here, let's put it over here real quick. Alright. This is the case I have to reload. And go back into quest. Alright. I want to actually talk to the Hello again. Which maybe we can open the door and make a deal open like if right she now. Like I'll open the door if she'll give me her hair. Let's make a deal first. What? What deal? If I open this door, then you have to let me go without using any magic on me. Yes, yes, of course. Open the door, child. Come on. I don't know. I don't think you're telling the truth. Open this door right now. I swear, child, you will pay. Oh, how you will pay. Well, that seems like the I'm same done, dialogue. I'll pick your limb from you. Uh, hello again. You. Oh. Can we say, I'm um, okay? Um, just promise you won't use magic on me. Yes, yes, of course. Open the door, child. Come on. I don't know. Is this the Open same dialogue? The door, One. What? No. Nope. Eat me? Oh, no. No. <laughs> well. Nope. That's enough to then. Uh. <sighs> well, <laughs> that sucks Open for you. The door right now. She did say that the thing, like, bled out kind of near the witch. The cat. cutie. 
No. And there wasn't a single hair on her clothes. Open it. Wait. I think I can see something down inside the sink's drain. I think it's... It's... Ew. It's just some old soggy hair. Must be the witch's. I need that for the spell, too. It's really far down, though. This might be tricky. Really, now? Well, I didn't think of looking down the drain, but I could... I is something I had to do, and I clicked there. No. It's too small to fit our hand. What if we went down the stairs and, like, looked at the pipe again? There's a section of... I could probably take this off to try and get that hair out. There. I don't see any point hold... Oh. Alright, and then... There's a gap. It looks like this. there's a gap where I... Wait, wait, wait. What if we ran the water? Run the water. Alright. Hmm. If I clog up the pipe downstairs somehow, I might be able to float the... Are you serious? We're putting the cork into the pipe. I'm surprised this didn't get wet. <laughs> okay, put the cork in the pipe. That should stop. Now it stops the water from going through. And now turn on water. That was a long well, while of it stuff. Worked. All the hairs floated to the top. <sighs> ah. So, so gross. Can I get my quirk back or do I not get it back anymore? I think I'll just leave Leave it there. And I can't play with the pipe. Okay, so we have Open Raven's Feather, like Witch's Hair, a Charged Amulet. Now we just need to bless it. But, uh, Uringle didn't do anything with I'm it. Missing some, a Raven, some of the, a bless, then I'll finally be. Can I just put stuff in here? Alright, well I can, so let's do it. Alright, now how does one... How does Hello one... again, Mirror. Get that go ghost guy back. Uh, well we can I'm keep going looking. To keep... Indeed, with your search though. How do I... Okay, so we need to. Nope. The thing's stuck fast. A witch is cold. Do you know who Hans Lind is? Hi, Ben. Hello. We're close to escaping now. We're close. We have a ways. As soon as. Yeah. But I mean. Yeah. Would you like? Oh, if. Ben, he's gonna, how we come... did say oh, that he's going to come with us. <laughs> All right. Am I not? Am I missing something? Can I open hmm. the? Who knows what we? Can I open the drain using my powers? Yeah. I did. Now let's look down the drain. Ugh! This place stinks. It looks like the witch's dumping ground. Everything looks like leftovers of spells, witchcraft, and people. Oh, gross. You know, that looks a lot like the stuff the witch tried to feed me. Ew! It looks like the witch has done everything look people. Even if I could read. I wanna, yeah, I wouldn't want to touch it either. It fell down there when... Wow. Whoops. That's still... No. Arp. That skeleton must have been quite... Someone gripped it. Oh, I hope that I isn't your rain day. Up the poor person. Oh, we have to have something to grab it, no. don't we? Hmm. What? <laughs> this is going to be perfect for pick something that's out of reach. I well, guess what? I have a thing that's out of reach right here. It seems I can't reach. I was that. random, actually. I didn't think it would do it. That right. skeleton seems must have been. Yeah, can we like? This is too far. Can I mess with their thumb? Mm. Yeah, just just a little loose. Then. Mm. Oh. This guy is determined. I have 
to think care. I do. All right. Thumb. Uh, and then pointer finger. Uh, then ring little finger. Uh, there we go. Yes. Now I just have to get it from. Yeah, we do. And we have a way to do that. We have the spoon on a string. How come I didn't think of opening the thing with my powers? Beyond me. <laughs> Perfect well, no, shot. I did. All right. Easy does it. I have to remember to take take my time. A bit goopy, but I still got it. All right, let's examine that. A dirty old handkerchief with the initial J stitched in the corner. From what I read in that book, I could try summoning the ghost of whoever owned this. I just need to... Uh... Sleep on it. Yeah, we do. Let's go back up. Go upstairs. Curse you, Anna. Don't curse me a lot. That's bad. Alright. So we could go into the bedroom and go to bed. It's not bed. It's a... No, 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 no. What are you doing? Go to so bed with it. So if this book is correct, then this should help bring the ghost of whoever that is in the pit? Probably your reading. Well, I've tried sillier things so far that have worked out. Here goes nothing, I guess. All right. Got to sleep, got to sleep. Come on, Anna. No more being awake now. I'm not even sleepy, though. Hmm. What would Grandpa say to help me sleep? He'd say, come now, Anna, lay down your head. The time for sleep is here. Come now, Anna. Wait, Shut oh. your eyes. The dark, you need not fear. I will, but Grandpa. Oh, oh we're like you remembering. You to me tonight, remember? Oh, yes. You are quite right. Quite right. Why don't you bring something over here? Oh. Books, there's a door, cupboard. No, not right now. Uh, children's Lots books. Of tales. Good grandpa bought all of these for me from the village, but I know them all by heart. Try them. I've read these ones so many. What about this one on the bookshelf? Oh, what's that one back there? I don't think I've seen it before. I want it. Uh, I found a book, but. I don't think I can reach it. Do you think you could get it down for me? Oh, you don't mean... Well, I don't know about that one. Uh-oh. I know. Why don't we just read one of the fairy tales you love so much? We've read them over and over, though. We haven't read this one before. Oh, Hannah. I'm really not so sure. This one is about someone who... Well, not all stories should be heard by young ones. But, Grandpa, I'm not such a little kid anymore, you know. I what can't an interesting read kids memory. stories forever. <sighs> You're quite right. Quite right. But let me tell you something first. You must know, these stories, they're about scary kinds of people. People who are evil. Who will trick and deceive you. These are why... Why we stay safe on our farm, you see? Okay. Oh, but... But... That time I broke your music machine... I lied about it, remember? I tried to trick you, so... Was that evil? Oh, no! No, no, no! Of course not! We are good people, Anna. We just... Make mistakes. Well... Some people we think are bad might just be making mistakes, then? <sighs> Hannah, sweet thing. That's enough of that kind of talk. So long as we never leave our farm, we don't need to worry, all right? All right. If you say so, Grandpa. Come on now. Hop into bed, and I'll get the book for you. Oh! Oh! <clears throat> Right then. Who rides so late where winds blow wild? It is the father clutching his child. He holds the girl tight in his arms. He clasps her safely. 
he keeps her warm. My girl, why cover your face in fear? Oh, don't you see the devil near? The devil with his eyes that fright. My girl, tis only a mist of white. Sweet lass, oh come and join me do. Such clever games I'll play with you. Hello? Uh, Anna? Psst, Anna. Anna, Hello? please wake up. This oh. isn't happening. It's not happening. Hello? Um, hello there. How are you? Yes. Hi, Anna. I'm fine, but... Hmm. Okay. Uh, my name is Anna. Pleased to meet you. Um, Anna? Just wait, Ben. I'm trying to talk to the ghost. Oh, <laughs> silly me. You were talking to... Wait, what? To the ghost? I'm trying yeah. to. I'm not sure, but I think you can't talk, can you? No. Hmm, I see. Okay, well, I... I'm sorry to summon you like this, miss. It's just, I was kidnapped, you see, by the witch. I think you probably know her. Yes, um, the thing is, I need your help with something. A spell. Uh -oh. Wait! Uh-oh. Don't go. Oh, she fled because she was a... I hope she hasn't gone too far away. Oh, no. Hey, Ben, you're all right? Ben, it's okay. You can stop hiding. The ghost has left. <laughs> oh. I forgot that's uh, how he hides. Are you sure? Okay, but, um, just in case, I think I'll just stay like this, Anna. Okay, okay. Can I leave this here, or do I need to take I'll it? I'll just leave it as a... Leave it? All right. We might need it. We n might need it again just in case, but maybe she can help us. Oh! Ah, ah there you are. Hi. Oh, oh dear. I summoned her back and away from her lover. You must be the girl he was talking about. Yorinda. I, I don't know how to tell you. Well, I think Yorinda came here for you. He wanted to find you. He called you his, uh, his lost nightingale, or something or other, right before he, uh, ran off. Um, I, I don't mean to bother you, miss, but, well, I really need your help with something. And there she goes again. Poor girl. What did the witch put her through? I wonder. Is she in the basement, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, ah! she is. Jeez, you just keep popping up everywhere, don't you? Wait, did you... You came here to help me? Thank you, Yorinda. It means a lot to me. Yorinda! Yorinda! Is that you? Your angle? Oh Your god! Day. My precious nightingale, it is you! At last I found you! Ah! Oh, thank the kingdom, I found you, Yorinde! Now that we're together once again, no one can bother us. Uh, except one more thing, I need I need the cauldron blast. Oh my! Oh Yorinda! Your Yorinde? What did I do? Um, hello again? I'm sorry, Yoringo. I didn't mean to make her upset with you. Oh, the girl. Uh, I'm sorry, Yorinde. I wanted to help her. Uh, really, I did. I just... I was just so excited to see you after all these years. Please, forgive me, my love. Let's do this together. They're gonna bless the cauldron together. 
Aww. My lost nightingale. True love is so sweet. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Yorinda. And Yoringo. I'll finish this spell, just you see. Then right. I'll make my escape. For all of us. Okay, so now the last thing we need to do is heat it up and mix it. So, baby dragon, can you heat this for me? Hmm. Dragons are meant to be able to breathe fire. His breath doesn't seem very fiery at the moment, though. Oh, but he needs kerosene or something or other. Uh, how do I give him kerosene? Where have I seen it? So many big frog. Mm, oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I take any of these? Mm, I see the bee. Okay. Paraffin, paraffin. Can I just make the can dragon eat the candy? Yeah, maybe that. Hmm. He is hungry, but there's something about these candles he doesn't seem to like. Maybe there's something similar I can find that he'd prefer to eat. Hmm. What could he prefer to eat? This? I think that's enough. No. The paraffin is wax normally. Is there anything else? <gasps> Wait, can I make it eat the crayon? Hmm. Well, it does say it's non-toxic. All right, little fella, you hungry? Some, uh, yummy paraffin? Whoa, he really gobbled that up. Yeah, he did. I think he's ready to start blowing out fire somewhere. So cute. All right, we got our little igniter. <laughs> so, let's take him downstairs. I went upstairs looking around and I was looking at the art supplies and I was like, aha, I have that crayon. Fiery dragon. Your time to shine, little guy. Nice. Now it's at a boil. Excellent work, little guy. And I have my charged amulet, so put that in there. Oh, it's really shiny now. I think it worked. Nice. Well, for my sake, I hope it did. Guess I might have to find out soon enough. We good, Mr. Mirror? The amulet has been formed. My words have been heeded. You've done well, dear Anna. And you've indeed succeeded. Are you going to be okay down here? I wish I didn't have to leave you. Please worry not for me, for this is my home. I'm worried for you out there, all alone. I'll have Ben I'll be with me, I'll be right. I have to be. I have to. For Grandpa. Then waste not. Go forth and continue your quest. I wish you good luck and all of the best. Thank you again, Mirror. I won't forget you. All right. Time to tell Ben and get out of this place. Hopefully Ben doesn't need to be dunked into this too so that he could be protected because I'm sure the witch is going to try to trick him. Uh, do I need to wear the amulet on myself? Like if I click it on myself? Nope. May hopefully let's, let's say that in the, save it for later. Okay, also, that's everything Ben. I have it all prepared now. Even an escape route. Ben? Wait, What's what happened wrong? to my... Uh... Ben? Wait, what happened to the hole? And oh, the handkerchiefs? No. Hello? <gasps> oh no. No! It... it can't be. Hello? Hi. Shoot. Evening, Anna. But... how did you... Quite the fun-filled evening you've had yourself here, hmm? I think it's about time we put an end to all this nonsense, though. Don't you? No. Uh oh. I've come so close. I'm not quitting now. I have to escape. Escape? Huh. Foolish child. Do you have any idea how long I've planned for this? Did you really think you would escape me? Hmm? Uh. Where did you. Uh, this is another part of my plan. Yeah, well, this is just another part of my plan. What are you talking about? I 
figured you would try and stop me, so I've made a little of my own magic. What? What does that mean? <laughs> it doesn't matter now anyway. It's time to put an end to this. Ah! Ben? Uh, nope, not Ben. You wretched little runt. You deceive me? You what leave about Ben? Haven't you done enough already? Oh, I've had enough of this. Of both of you. <gasps> I'm going to enjoy this. Uh. My cold, still children. This will only take a moment. Oh, spirits of the dead. Oh, ghouls of misfortune. Emma, I'm scared. It's okay, Ben. You don't have to worry. Rise from thy slumber. Disable those impugn. I'm here, Ben. I'll protect us. Can I, uh. That's it. I just have to wait for the right moment to try. I'm hoping to take her on from her. Maybe. No. Mm. Yep, that's mine. You can't have it. <laughs> this thing looks like it's going to try to eat her. And so, with the witch's plan thwarted, the girl and the bear finally made their escape. Running deep into the woods, her goal now in sight, Anna knew just the place they would need to seek next. The town of Wunderhorn, as the mirror described, lay in wait for the pair to make their arrival. But the journey would be long. The quest had just begun, and their run-in with evil would not be their last. Thank you.